again. More Godfall. Get damn it, dude. I told you I didn't want people to hear my normal voice. <laughs> Ow. Jeez. Is it on? Okay. More Godfall gameplay has been leaked. Let's take a look at it and talk about it. We are back with the second Godfall video, guys. The first one I released, the What We Know About Godfall up to this point video about a month ago. Since then, we have gotten no new information on the game and certainly no new gameplay. But today on Reddit, somebody, somebody released a gameplay trailer. Now, my guess is that a lot of these video game companies release these themselves out to the public, even if they're unfinished, etc., just to get little things circulating to get people hyped up. But this new gameplay trailer has been confirmed by Counterplay Games themselves on Twitter, as you can see right here, that this was an internal presentation about a year ago on PC. So what this means, guys, is this trailer was probably made to show people in the team how the game is coming along, etc. So I definitely wouldn't expect this to be even close to the final product, because if you're just showing your own development company, like the FPS and, and the graphics and stuff don't really matter. You're just trying to show people what the game is going to be like. And then, of course, if you work in the company, you can imagine the final product after you touch everything up. So I wouldn't get too mad at anything in the trailer that doesn't make you happy in terms of like graphics or or frames per second, etc. But let's watch the trailer together, guys, and then we can talk about what we see in it. Here we go. Counterplay Games. I'm ready to see what this company's made of. That music alone makes me want to play this game. Oh, man. Coming through the door, walking down the hallway, that looks really good. Little lunge attack. Little parry right there. A lot of different enemies in this trailer, man. Woohoo! Oh shit, you guys see that guy's dagger? We'll go back and look at that. Working in a group. Another lunge attack. Whew, baby. Saw a lot of stuff in that trailer. Even though it's old, I thought it looked pretty good. So what do you guys think? I thought it looked really good, especially knowing that that is not a final product and that was just an internal presentation. When they actually give us, the consumer, a gameplay trailer, my guess is it's going to be extremely touched up and we're not going to have any of those jaggedy FPS looking issues. Now guys, this game is coming out with the PS5. So my guess is this company is really going to try to push the limits of what the PS5 offers. And us console players, guys, we might be getting more than 60 frames per second on our games. I am so excited. So in this trailer, there's a lot going on. There's so many different looking enemies, which is, of course, a really good sign for a game. And there's a lot of different like lighting effects going on with the attacks too. like when you see the guy lunge forward, a blue like bluish flame comes out of his sword and then you see other colors in different parts. So it looks like there's going to be a lot to the different types of attacks. And as I said in my first video, the point of the game is to grind for valor plates, which is new armor, and then you put augments onto the valor plates which influence your playstyle. like augments are like i don't know i guess you could say like enchantments and stuff little little items that you attach to your gear that influence your playstyle and they change the way you play so for anyone who is seeing godfall for the first time guys this is what they call a looter slasher rpg game it is going to be a ps5 epic games exclusive and it will be one to three players Obviously, guys, this game is loot driven. Like I said before, Counterplay Games said it is one part gear driven and one part personal mastery. So what that means to me, guys, is of course, you're going to be grinding for better gear and you're going to need better gear probably to progress in the game. But it's not 100 percent based on gear. It's also going to take skill and it's going to require you as the player to adapt to new skills and new play styles, which is awesome. So instead of just grinding for better gear and then being able to kill all the enemies in the game, you also have to work Work on your skills as a player, whether it is timing or dodging, etc. They said the combat is going to be very offense orientated, so you're probably not going to be, you know, out of the fight a lot. More so, you're going to be up in the fight. And it looked like in the trailer, there was actually a moment where two swords collided, and that formed like some sort of parry mechanism. 
Now, the combat did look intense. Counter Play Games also said that Monster Hunter World is a game that they took inspiration for with their combat system. And anybody who's played Monster Hunter World, most people agree that it is a pretty sweet combat system and it's pretty in depth and there's a lot of cool combos, etc. But you can also see like remnants from other games in this game too. It kind of has like a God of War look to it, Dark Souls, etc. It's going to be really interesting to finally play it. If any of you guys want more details as to the game itself and not really just from this trailer, make sure to check out my What We Know About Godfall video that is on this channel as well. I will link it directly below. But now guys, let's look at a couple things in the trailer, just a couple moments that looked really cool and we can kind of zoom in on them and talk about it. So this scene right here, guys, is my favorite scene of the trailer. I don't know why. It just feels epic when he goes to the door and walks down the hallway. If you guys named a game Godfall, what would you make the world look like? Like this. This whole game just gives that god, goddess, ancient Greek mythological feel, and it's really cool. So right here is where we see two weapons collide, and both the NPC and the player seem to stagger back. I feel like this is actually going to be a big part of the game because we saw two swords collide in the gameplay clip that was leaked when the first trailer came out as well. See all that? It'd be interesting to experience that in the game when we get our hands on it. So this right here is my favorite enemy in the trailer, the guy with the cloak and the hood. He looks awesome, and he's got a badass dagger. I mean, just look at this guy. I don't even have to be one of the god or goddesses. Just make me that guy, and I'm happy. Now this attack here kind of shows us the versatility and the types of attacks that you'll be doing in this game. You can see two enemies that are pretty far away from him, but he does like a double whirlwind slash that pushes him all the way past both enemies and kills them both. Kind of a really cool longer range type sword attack. Now, right here in this upcoming clip, you see a puff of like this blue flame type magic. And then following it, the player does a lunge attack, which gives off a fire type red into the air. It's going to be interesting to see what the blue and red mean. And maybe you can specialize in one or maybe you can have both. My guess is the augments that you put on your gear will affect the type of magic that your character gives off. So there's the blue flame and here's the lunge attack for the red spark. So that's it, guys. That was the new leaked gameplay trailer. I cannot wait for Counterplay Games to release an actual trailer for us, the consumer. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'll be doing all sorts of videos on Godfall. The more information we get, the more videos I will post. I do all sorts of videos on this channel, guys, ranging from comedy videos to guides to reviews to live streams as well. So it's probably something for you. I hope to see you guys on the next one.